So to understand the outputs of the software, I constructed a simple kitchen, a straight kitchen. You see it in front of you. We have two wall units, a towel unit, and a few base base units. So this is the option that is prints. We get the outputs. So the first output which we are going to focus is cutting list. So I select the entire project. Go to cutting list. So it initially it will ask the grain direction for the project. So we have a plain uh, no grain option, vertical option, horizontal option. So we can select the option we need for each individual panels and click OK. Then again click OK. So within one click we can generate the cutting list. So this is in PDF form. So according to each individual cabinet, we'll get the cutting uh, panel names, cutting sizes. This column is for color. Sorry, green and this column is for color. So colors can be added here and can be applied directly here. So whichever color we need, we can apply it here. So the alongside the cutting list, we'll also get the hardware list at the bottom. So I'll just scroll down. You can see we got the total number of doubles, minifix, number of hinges, and the knobs or handles. For the entire project, so this is, so this can be enabled or disabled by checking or checking this box. So if you uncheck this box, you'll not get the hardware list. If we enable this, you'll get the hardware list. So other thing you should uh, concentrate is this edges. So now we are getting the final cut cutting size of the panels without edge banding. So if you need to generate the cutting list with the edge banding, you can enable this option. So the edge banding thickness will get added to this existing panels. So usually no one will add this, so we'll just un uncheck this box. So in options we have another option called as belonging block. So if you disable this option and see the preview, we'll get the total number of panels. We'll not get according to the cabinet name, it will get just mixed all over. So if you want according to cabinet names, you can just click on belonging block and click OK. If you now see the preview, we will get according to the cabinet names. So now to export it, we have an export option. So if you are trying to export it to a beam saw, we can select the option called as Opti Planning. And if you want to export it to the B nest, you can select the B nest option. And then click, just click OK. This is the procedure for exporting. So now to show how to export for uh, Opti Planning, I'll select Opti Planning and click OK. So the cutting list I will initially will store in this path, Program File 86, Project 3D Interface. So I'll just rename because I already created files. Simple kitchen one. So now we try to open the our cutting list. Simple kitchen one. So this is a CSV file which will go to the B Opti or Opti planning software. So this will get optimized and will get the cutting patterns. So in the same way we can also generate it to B nest. The B nest, while clicking export, we must change this to B nest option and click OK. So again, the same for, for, for path, the file will get saved. So already the file is being there, so I'll rename it to two. So in this way, we'll be able to generate the cutting list for B nest as well as Opti planning or B Opti according to our requirement. Opti planning is for beam saw and B nest is for nesting CNC machine. As you can see, we have got the cutting list for. Be next.